Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Gab Official. Today I'm gonna to show you how to replace your urea injector on this C4 Picasso. As you can see, this is the urea injector that we're gonna be changing today on this Citroen C4 Picasso. This is what basically injects the AdBlue into the system to break down all the carbon NOx in the system and break down all the soot content. Literally, we're going to go ahead and remove this. As you can see, there's a little plug here, two little clips. Just push them in, and that pops off. And then there's also another clip around here. So we're literally going to lift that bit up and push it off. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack. Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack. Baby, I'm bad. I just wanna get caught up in this life. I'm crazy, I'm mad. Doing no cap. Only God wants you. Better go live it up. Cash in the bag, stadium pack. Baby, I'm bad. Yeah. Baby, I'm bad. I just wanna stay bad, stay mad. Shit on my shoulder, cause they treat me like an outcast. One done it now. Pop straight off. As you can see, there's the little clip in there. Push. To release that pin or you can just lift that little bit up in the middle to pop it off so that's off now now we're going to need to remove this adding key the bolt just need to find out exactly what size that is it's a v4 size adding key as you can see i'm using a shorter socket with a 10 mm ratchet spanner Straight off. <laughs> as you can see, this is the unit replacing. As you can see, all that white stuff around it. The reason why I changed it because it's leaking, as you can see. And that's the ad for leaking out of it. Yeah. So I'm just going to show you where the fit in it, as you can see. It's got slots on there. Very nice to start in. If you look up here, as you can see, as you can see, there's one gap there. See right there. There's also two at the top. So as long as you slot it in there, it should be lined up perfectly. I've also got rid of all of the build-up carbon in there. So as you can see, it's now slotted in. As you can see perfectly. You just need to shut that clamp. Put the screw in there. Put it back so we're going to go ahead and tighten that up now. That's all back together now. Now we just need to do an initialization on the diode box just 
so that the car know that it's been replaced. Okay, so now what we need to do is connect the diagnostic machine. As you can see, the diagnostic socket is in the glove box. As you can see, this little cover is what covers it. It just comes straight off. What we're going to need to do now is just initialize it. Just let the car know that it's actually been changed. Just clear the four codes if there's any. And there should be. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go on and see this. We'll first of all ignition on. Then we're going to go on to this is Citroen, so we're going to go on to Citroen. Now we're going to go on to Auto ID. We find the Citroen, and I'm just going to take you to the other stages because some of these bits I can't show you. Thank you, and thank you for watching. Gab Official, please like, share, and subscribe for further content on my channel. Stay blessed, keep on rolling. Yeah.